WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, what is very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. we got a little bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix coming from the Dow and the Dow Transports. They're both up 60 points for the Dow, about two-tenths of a cent, about three-tenths for the trannies. They're up 42 points. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. The s and off three-tenths. That's uh, 13 points. Nine-tenths for the NDX 100. 121 points there. Seven, uh, about eight tenths for the uh, Russell. That's off 15 points. The semis are down one and a half percent, 46 points there. Gold's off six bucks, trading at 1791. Silver's off 13 pennies, 2013 is the print. Light to be crude, trade out at 8752. That's buck a, back a buck 33. Natural gas is having a nice move today. It's up 37 cents, nine dollars and eight is the print there. And the 30 year treasury is off nearly one point, trading out at 14018. Let's go take a look at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, the upper left-hand corner. What do we know? We know that the ES Mini yesterday closed above the top of its weekly profile. That level is 42.77. Doesn't matter that it does it on a, a Tuesday or a Wednesday or a Thursday. It's got to do that on a Friday. So that's the level. Prices above that resistance area, 42.77, and closed above that on Friday suggests that the market continues to motor on higher. That is especially true or helpful with that spot volatile index being well below its 50-day exponential moving average. If we look at the NQ. Now, if the NQ closes below yesterday's open, that'll generate a bear sash candle. That would then generate a sell the D point. Your price target would, the one price target would be the top of the daily profile that we've been above for two consecutive, now three consecutive sessions out there. So 13,419 would be the first level of support to be observing. Of course, it's going to depend upon what that candle looks like at day's end. U.S. dollar index, nice rally. It held support at the 104.92 level, and it's found resistance at the top of its daily profile. The resistance level to be observing and watching is 106.58. If we take a look at Goldilocks, just consolidating with inside its daily profile out there, that's between the range of 1775 and 1912, I believe it is, uh, 19, 1813, 19. What is Stevie talking about out here? And it can take a look at silver, also consolidating with inside its daily profile. That's between 1974 and 2069. Light Street Crude has got support at the bottom of its daily profile. It's got trend line support out there. If it cl closes below that, though, that says uh, curtains at prices would head lower. We can see that the natural gas contract is uh, testing its prior high. That high is at $9.38. You take that out, you've got an A to B equals CD to the upside. That sounds like higher energy cost to me. 30-year Treasury right now is sitting just below the bottom of its daily profile. Close below that could be suggested to move to 135.26. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one, and look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.